Hey art friends, today we are going to draw a shamrock mandala. Yeah, they're a lot of fun to draw. They look a little complicated, but we're gonna show you an easy way to make them. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use a pencil and a marker. You also need some? Paper and something to color with. Yeah, and because we're using markers to draw and color with, we're also using marker paper to draw on. That helps keep our markers lasting longer so they don't dry out fast. You ready to start? Yes. Remember too that you don't have to use markers. We're using our Art for Kids hub markers, but you could use anything to color with or even draw with. You can use colored pencils, crayons, or even oil pastels. Let's first start with our pencil. This is so we can draw the general guidelines or the general shapes of our shamrock before we start with the markers. So first, let's draw a little guide point in the middle of our paper. I'm gonna press kind of hard so it's easy for our art friends to see it, but you can press lightly so that it's easier to erase. Next, we're gonna draw a center line for the first leaf. I'm gonna draw it straight up. Then we're gonna draw the center of the other leaf coming out to the left and also out to the right. You could just draw a straight line through if you want it. <laughs> now we're gonna draw the stem and we're gonna draw it coming down like this. I'm gonna draw it curved. Nice. Now actually, let's bend our leaves down a little bit on each side. So we're gonna draw these diagonal coming down further and then let's erase the first lines that we drew going straight out. That's the nice thing about using a pencil, is we can change the lines any way we want and then erase any of the lines we don't want to keep. Now that we have those extra guidelines erased, we also want to make sure that these lines are roughly the same size. We want each of our leaf to be equal in size. Now you could use a ruler to measure, but we're just using our eyes to guess. Now let's start at the top of this guideline and we're going to draw the first shape of our leaf or the outside shape of our leaf. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna draw, it's gonna look like a heart. We're gonna come out around like this and then we're gonna come back into the center line. Yeah, and then let's do that same shape and we're gonna to try to match so that it looks symmetrical on both sides. That, that's okay if they're not. We're practicing, right? Mm -hmm. You did a great job. Those Thank look you. exactly the same. Okay, now we can turn our paper, and so we're gonna work on this leaf now. So I turn my paper so this is straight up and down, and then we're gonna start here and do the same thing. We can come up, around, and back to the center line, or the center point. And then we're gonna draw the other side of the leaf, coming around like this, and watch, I'm gonna also go over or connect to the other leaf. Yeah, now let's turn our paper. We're going to draw this last leaf. We're gonna turn it so that this line is straight up and down. Then we're gonna start at the top and we're gonna repeat the same steps. We're gonna draw a heart that comes around and also I'm trying to connect to this leaf too. There you go. Oh, I like how much that connects. That's awesome. Then we're gonna draw the other side of the leaf coming around for the last part. Now we can turn our paper back to where we started and it looks like we have a shamrock now or we have the general guidelines for our shamrock. Now let's use our eraser and we're gonna erase all of the lines inside of the leaf. So I'm gonna erase the middle one and we can do that on each leaf but I'm also going to erase where the leaves overlap. And then we'll go around and do that on each of the leaves. That part we sped up, so remember, if you need extra time, you can always pause the video. Now let's make our stem for our shamrock thicker. On each side of this guideline, I'm gonna draw another line that matches right next to it. So I'm gonna draw one on the left and then also on the right. And I'm also getting a little wider at the bottom. There you go. Perfect. And then at the very bottom, we can also connect those two lines together. And let's use our eraser to erase the leaves up here and also the center guideline. On yours, I really like that the leaves come down further on the stem. See how mine comes up to a sharper point? I'm gonna change my leaves 
so that they do the same thing as yours. That way I'll have more room for the mandala design. Next, I'm gonna erase these extra guidelines right here so that my drawing looks a little bit more like yours. Now let's switch to our black marker. And we're gonna trace over all of the pencil lines, the guidelines. That part we sped up, so remember to pause the video and take that extra time. Okay, let's also use our eraser to erase any of the pencil lines that we can still see. That's a really fun way to make a shamrock. Yeah, I really like using pencil first to get all of the shapes just right before you use the marker. Now we're ready to use the markers again, and we can draw the design or the mandala design inside of the shamrock. First, let's start in the middle. And we're gonna draw, first I'm gonna draw a circle right where the center guide point was with the pencil. And you could also change your design any way you want. You don't have to do it exactly like us. Now this next step, I'm gonna draw little petals. I'm gonna draw one up, and then I'm gonna draw one down. And then I'm gonna draw one to the left, and also one to the right. And we want these to all match the same size and height. There we go. Then we can connect these two together on this side. And we're gonna draw a curve connecting here and also here. And finally on the other side. There's our first row of design. Now we can draw another design on the outside of this one. You can change it any way you want. I'm gonna add more petals. So I'm gonna draw them like this, but I'm also gonna go all the way around. So these are a little bit smaller. And we're gonna go all the way around till we start or finish where we started. Nice. And then we can also add little designs in between the petals. I'm gonna draw upside down Vs or little triangle shapes in between that row of petals. Now we're ready to add another row of designs. I'm gonna connect the little triangles with a bigger triangle. So in between each of those little triangles, I'm gonna go up and then back down, and I'm gonna to try to make this shape the same all the way around. So these little points are gonna be the same distance, and that's okay if they're a little different, but we're gonna to try to make them the same. This is pretty fun, right? It is. Yeah, and you can change this any way you want too. You don't have to draw the exact same design. And also you can do this lesson all over again and completely change it. Oh, that looks really cool. You can add two more. Oh, I like that you're turning your paper too. That might make it easier, especially because this, we're kind of going in a circle. So now I'm gonna draw little curves in between those triangle shapes. Go all the way around until we end where we started. And it should look like a circle that's getting bigger and bigger as we add more rows of design. Okay, now I'm gonna add even bigger petals this time. I think I'm gonna connect, see how I'm connecting and going over the triangle shape this time, connecting those little curves. Oh, look at this. I'm going through the first petal right here. So as we get bigger and we get into the outside shape, we wanna make sure that we don't draw through the shamrock. Now I'm gonna add really small petals in between like this. So in between those big petals, I'm gonna draw smaller petals that are more narrow and taller. Now we're just gonna repeat that same step and change the design and make this mandala shape get bigger and bigger until we fill the whole shamrock. And we'll make sure that when we get in between the petals that we don't draw through. We just wanna draw on the petals. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Well, that was kind of tricky and it took us a little while, but hopefully you guys pause the video so that you could take time to finish and fill in your shamrocks. Now we're not completely done, right? Nope, we still need to color it. Yes, this is my favorite part. And we are gonna fast forward again, so remember to pause the video and take that time to color in your drawings too. Now when coloring, we're gonna pick a bunch of different greens 
and we're gonna try to color the same row with the same color of green. So maybe we'll pick out the colors first, and then we'll do a couple rows, and then we'll fast forward. Let's pick out the colors. The colors that we're using are three greens. We have a really light green, 174, a medium green, 59, and then a darker green, 46. Yeah, and then also we have a yellow color, our 35. Now this is from our Art for Kids Hub marker set, but remember, you don't have to use these same markers. You could use a different brand or even just colored pencils or crayons. Okay, now let's start with our first color, and let's start with our dark green, 46. And I'm gonna use the fine tip, and we're gonna color in that first circle. It's so dark it even looks black. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to also color in, let's pick another row. I'm going to pick this one. And I'm going to color the whole row in with the same color. The reason why we don't want to um, mix the colors on the rows is this is going to give it that really cool design pattern. And once you finish coloring in that first row, I'm going to switch to my yellow and I'm going to color in these smaller petals. I'm also trying not to color on top of the black because then it actually turns it more brown. <laughs> That's okay, right? We're going to also color in, oh, I'm going to color in the triangle shapes, the big triangle shapes on this next row. So we can do a couple rows with the same color. So skip a row and then color it with the same color that you have. That way you don't have to switch as many times. There we go, almost got this row colored in. And you could also even add different colors if you want. You could even add an orange or pink. I like that we're keeping it green and yellow because that kind of goes with St. Patrick's Day. Then I'm gonna switch to my medium green. And we're gonna color in this row. There we go. And then I'm gonna to switch to the really light green and color in these small triangle shapes. Now that we've colored in a few rows of the design, we're gonna fast forward even more to finish the entire shamrock. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Taryn, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our shamrocks, and they turned out awesome. I especially love yours. Thanks, I love yours too. Oh, thanks. Now, I love how it looks all colored in, especially when we colored each row with the same color. That makes this circular pattern all the way through our whole shamrock. It looks really complicated, but it was really easy to draw. Yeah, especially if we just take one step at a time and build each of the designs out from the center. We hope you had fun drawing your shamrock mandalas. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and I'm sure your drawings look different than ours, but I bet they turned out really cool. The most important thing is... To have fun and to practice. Yes, have fun and practice, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Bye.